Hear the word of the Lord. Exodus chapter 38. Then he made the altar of burnt offering of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide, square, and three cubits high. He made its horns on its four corners, its horns being of one piece with it, and he overlaid it with bronze. He made all the utensils of the altar, the pots and the shovels and the bowls, the flesh hooks and the fire pans. He made all its utensils of bronze. He made for the altar a grating of a network of bronze beneath, under its ledge reaching halfway down. He cast four rings on the four ends of the bronze grating as holders for the poles. He made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze. He inserted the poles into the rings on the sides of the altar with which to carry it. He made it hollow with planks. Moreover, he made the laver of bronze with its base of bronze from the mirrors of the serving women who served at the doorway of the tent of meeting. Then he made the court. For the south side, the hangings of the court were of fine twisted linen, 100 cubits. Their 20 pillars and their 20 bases made of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver. For the north side, there were 100 cubits. Their 20 pillars and their 20 bases were of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver. For the west side, there were hangings of 50 cubits with their 10 pillars and their 10 bases. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver. For the east side, toward the sunrise, 50 cubits. The hangings for the one side of the gate were 15 cubits, with their three pillars and their three bases. And so for the other side. On both sides of the gate of the court were hangings of 15 cubits, with their three pillars and their three bases. All the hangings of the court all around were of fine twisted linen. The bases for the pillars were of bronze. The hooks of the pillars and their bands were of silver, and the overlaying of their tops were of silver, and all the pillars of the court were furnished with silver bands. The screen of the gate of the court was the work of a weaver, of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen, and the length was twenty cubits and the height was five cubits, corresponding to the hangings of the court. Their four pillars and their four bases were of bronze, their hooks were of silver, and the overlaying of their tops and their bands were of silver. All the pegs of the tabernacle and of the court all around were of bronze. These are the things numbered for the tabernacle, the tabernacle of the testimony, as they were numbered according to the command of Moses for the service of the Levites by the hand of Ithamar, the son of Aaron the priest. Now Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, made all that Yahweh had commanded Moses. With him was Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, a craftsman and a skillful designer, and a weaver in blue and in purple and in scarlet material and fine linen. All the gold that was used for the work, in all the work of the sanctuary, even the gold of the wave offering, was twenty-nine talents and seven hundred and thirty shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. The silver of those of the congregation who were numbered was one hundred talents, and 1,775 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A becca a head, that is, half a shekel, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, for each one who passed over to those who were numbered from 20 years old and upward, for 603,550 men. 100 talents of silver were for casting the bases of the sanctuary and the bases of the veil. 100 bases for 100 talents, a talent for a base. Of the 1,775 shekels, he made hooks for the pillars and overlaid their tops and made bands for them. The bronze of the wave offering was 70 talents and 2,400 shekels. With it he made the bases to the doorway of the tent of meeting, and the bronze altar and its bronze grating, and all the utensils of the altar, and the bases of the court all around, and the bases of the gate of the court, and all the pegs of the tabernacle, and all the pegs of the court all around. Exodus chapter 39. Moreover, from the blue and purple and scarlet material, they made finely woven garments for ministering in the holy place, as well as the holy garments which were for Aaron, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, and of blue and purple and scarlet material, and fine twisted linen. Then they hammered out gold sheets and cut them into threads to be woven in with the blue and the purple and the scarlet material and the fine linen, the work of a skillful designer. They made joining shoulder pieces for the ephod. It was joined at its two upper ends. The skillfully woven band which was on it was like its workmanship of the same material of gold and of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. 
They made the onyx stones, set all around in filigree settings of gold. They were engraved like the engravings of a signet, according to the names of the sons of Israel. And he placed them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod as stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. He made the breast piece, the work of a skillful designer, like the workmanship of the ephod, of gold and of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen. It was square. They made the breast piece, having been folded double, a span long and a span wide when folded double. And they mounted four rows of stones on it. The first row was a row of ruby, topaz, and emerald. And the second row, a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were set in their filigree settings with gold filigree. The stones were corresponding to the names of the sons of Israel, They were twelve, corresponding to their names, engraved with the engravings of a signet, each with its name for the twelve tribes. They made on the breast piece chains of a twisted work of cords in pure gold. They made two filigree settings and two gold rings, and put the two rings on the two ends of the breast piece. Then they put the two gold cords in the two rings at the ends of the breast piece. They put the other two ends of the two cords on the two filigree settings and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod at the front of it. They made two gold rings and placed them on the two ends of the breast piece on its inner edge, which was next to the ephod. Furthermore, they made two gold rings and placed them on the bottom of the two shoulder pieces of the ephod on the front of it, close to the place where it joined above the skillfully woven band of the ephod. They bound the breast piece by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a blue cord, so that it would be on the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and that the breast piece would not come loose from the ephod, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Then he made the robe of the ephod of woven work entirely of blue. And the opening of the robe was at the top in the center, as the opening of a coat of mail, with a binding all around its opening, so that it would not be torn." They made pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet material and fine twisted linen on the hem of the robe. They also made bells of pure gold and put the bells between the pomegranates all around on the hem of the robe, alternating a bell and a pomegranate all around on the hem of the robe for the ministry, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. They made the tunics of finely woven linen for Aaron and his sons and the turban of fine linen, and the headdresses of the caps of fine linen, and the linen undergarments of fine twisted linen, and the sash of fine twisted linen, and blue and purple and scarlet material, the work of a weaver, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. They made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it with engraved writing as found on a signet, holy to Yahweh. They fastened a blue cord to it, to fasten it on the turban above, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Thus all the service of constructing the tabernacle of the tent of meeting was completed. And the sons of Israel did according to all that Yahweh had commanded Moses. So they did. They brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent and all its furnishings, its clasps, its boards, its bars, and its pillars and its bases. And the covering of ram skins dyed red, and the covering of porpoise skins, and the screening veil the ark of the testimony and its poles and the mercy seat, the table, all its utensils, and the bread of the presence, the pure gold lampstand with its arrangement of lamps and all its utensils, and the oil for the light, and the gold altar, and the anointing oil, and the fragrant incense, and the veil for the doorway of the tent, the bronze altar and its bronze grating, its poles and all its utensils, the laver and its stand, the hangings for the court, its pillars and its bases, and the screen for the gate of the court, its cords and its pegs, and all the equipment for the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of meeting, the woven garments for ministering in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister his priests. Thus, according to all that Yahweh had commanded Moses, so the sons of Israel did in all their service. And Moses saw all the work, and behold, they had done it, Just as Yahweh had commanded, so they had done. Then Moses blessed them. Exodus chapter 40 Then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, On the first day of the first month you shall set up the tabernacle of the tent of meeting. 
You shall place the ark of the testimony there, and you shall screen the ark with the veil. You shall bring in the table and arrange what belongs on it, and you shall bring in the lampstand and mount its lamps. Moreover, you shall set the gold altar of incense before the ark of the testimony and set up the veil for the doorway to the tabernacle. You shall set the altar of burnt offering in front of the doorway of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting. You shall set the laver between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it. You shall set up the court all around and hang up the screen for the gateway of the court. Then you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it and set it apart as holy and all its furnishings and it shall be holy. You shall anoint the altar of burnt offering and all its utensils and set the altar apart as holy and the altar shall be most holy. You shall anoint the laver and its stand and set it apart as holy. Then you shall bring Aaron and his sons to the doorway of the tent of meeting and wash them with water. You shall put the holy garments on Aaron and anoint him and set him apart as holy, that he may minister as a priest to me. You shall bring his sons and put tunics on them. And you shall anoint them even as you have anointed their father, that they may minister as priests to me. And their anointing will be for them for a perpetual priesthood throughout their generations. Thus Moses did. According to all that Yahweh had commanded him, so he did. Now it happened in the first month of the second year, on the first day of the month, the tabernacle was erected. Moses erected the tabernacle and laid its bases and set up its boards and inserted its bars and erected its pillars. He spread the tent over the tabernacle and placed the covering of the tent on top of it, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Then he took the testimony and put it into the ark and attached the poles to the ark and put the mercy seat on top of the ark. He brought the ark into the tabernacle and placed the veil of the screen and screened off the ark of the testimony, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Then he put the table in the tent of meeting on the north side of the tabernacle outside the veil. He set the arrangement of bread in order on it before Yahweh, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Then he placed the lampstand in the tent of meeting opposite the table on the south side of the tabernacle. He lighted the lamps before Yahweh, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Then he placed the gold altar in the tent of meeting in front of the veil, and he burned fragrant incense on it, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. Then he placed the screen at the doorway of the tabernacle. He placed the altar of burnt offering before the doorway of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting, and he offered on it the burnt offering and the meal offering, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. He placed the laver between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it for washing. From it, Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet. When they entered the tent of meeting and when they approached the altar, they washed, just as Yahweh had commanded Moses. He erected the court all around the tabernacle and the altar, and he put up the screen for the gateway of the court. Thus, Moses finished the work. Then the cloud covering the tent of meeting and the glory of Yahweh filled the tabernacle, and Moses was not able to enter the tent of meeting because the cloud had dwelt on it, and the glory of Yahweh filled the tabernacle. Now throughout all their journeys, whenever the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the sons of Israel would set out. But if the cloud was not taken up, then they did not set out until the day when it was taken up. For throughout all their journeys, the cloud of Yahweh was on the tabernacle by day, and there was fire in it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel.